Hello TC Kids and welcome to the Command Center. My name is Tess and I will be leading your mission today. It is time to get started right now. Today, our Bible story is classified. To get it unclassified and be able to hear the story, we're gonna have to figure out three code words. Each of these code words will unlock a section of the Bible story. Let's get ready for some adventure and a whole lot of fun. Oh, it sounds like we're getting our first mission now. Let's call our kids to send them out on the mission. Hi, Ryan and Trey. Hi. I have your first mission. Are you ready? Yeah. Your first mission of the day is to encourage someone while you're in the classroom. So you can encourage a friend, maybe a classmate, and all you have to do is just encourage someone. Do you think you could do that? Yeah. Okay, good luck. Hi, Hi. Hi. I like your shoes. Thank you. I like your shoes. Welcome to LA Around the World, where we're going to look and learn how Easter looks around the world. For example, right here in the United States, we celebrate Easter at church and with Easter at home. But if we go a little bit down to the Caribbean, then in Bermuda, they fly kites to represent and remember the resurrection of Jesus. In Colombia, they take a whole week up which is so cool. And they go around cities and our small towns just to see the parades the, the, of the churches and the decoration of the churches around the, around the country. On the other side, we go to France, where they do omelets. They eat an Easter morning omelets. That's so cool. But also in the UK, they, eat, they do Easter bonnet parades. In the Northwestern European, they do bonfires to chase the winter away. How cool is that? Wow, this was so fun. I hope you learned a little bit more about different cultures and traditions around the world. See you later. Great job, TC Kids. Did you guys catch the code word that Ale said? That's right, you did. Good job. And then our friends at the beginning, they said another code word too. Wow, we did it. Now, I think our third one is going to be in worship. Let's get to it. In his presence, mounting up on wings like an eagle. Glory heavy, so I gotta let go of my ego. Got the Holy Spirit, and we go wherever. Eagle. That is my amigo, yeah, 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 yeah. In his presence, mounting up on wings like an eagle. Glory heavy, so I gotta let go of my ego. Got the Holy Spirit, and we go wherever. Eagle. That is my amigo. presence mounting up on wings like an eagle. glory heavy so i gotta let go of my eagle. got the holy spirit and we go wherever eagle. that is my amigo yeah 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 in this presence Can move and open the tomb and close with the wound. Yeah, we know. And 
all of my people, spirit of God is God, the sun is the equal. Came on the Lord, the lambs the gold, but he coming back for the sequel. Out of the grave, kid, having his way, I got the cheek on. He don't behave, yeah, setting off chains, we call the deep, oh. Ain't gotta remember me, though. Holy, holy, Father, free flow. Come and do it, only you can do it, let me go, Lord, free flow. Holy Spirit, come down. Presence mounting up on wings like an eco. Glory heavy, so I gotta let go of my eco. Got the Holy Spirit, and we go wherever eco. That is my amigo. Yeah, 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 yeah. And this presence mounting up on wings like an eco. Glory heavy, so I gotta let go of my eco. Got the Holy Spirit, and we go wherever eco. That is my amigo. <laughs> Great job. You guys just earned another word. Did you hear it? That's right. Eagle. Eagle was the word. Well, now that we've earned all of our words, let's go to Bible story. Okay, TC kids. Today's Bible story is found in Acts chapter 9, verses 1 through 19. This is a story all about a man named Saul or Paul, but at the beginning of the story, his name was Saul. He actually would put people in prison if they said they believed in Jesus. One day, Saul was walking on a road in Damascus and he fell to the ground and he heard a voice say, Saul, why do you persecute me? However, when Saul looked around, he didn't see anyone. So Saul said, who is this? And the voice replied, I am Jesus, whom you persecute. Get up and go to the city. But when Saul got up, he couldn't see. Saul was then blind for three days and three nights. His friends had to guide him to the city as he waited there for Jesus' instructions. After those three days, Jesus sent a man named Ananias. Ananias came to Saul and he told them that he was sent by Jesus to restore his sight and fill him with the Holy Spirit. Immediately, Saul was healed and went to go get baptized. He later was given the name Paul and went around teaching the gospels, good news to all Gentile nations. Now, we might not have our name changed, or maybe we might not even meet Jesus in a crazy way like Paul did, but we do know that Jesus comes into our lives and he can make us new, just like he did Saul to Paul. If you're wondering what it means for Jesus to be your friend and your savior and to make you new, all you need to do is invite him into your life. If you'd like to make Jesus the leader of your life, all you have to do is pray this simple prayer and believe it in your heart. So would you bow your head, close your eyes, and repeat after me. We're all going to say this prayer together. Say, Dear God, thank you for sending your son, Jesus. I believe he lived, died, and rose again just for me. Today, I give you my life. Change me, renew me, transform me. I'm yours, in Jesus' name, amen. Amen, way to go. This is big news, I mean huge. This isn't something you're gonna wanna keep to yourself. It's time to make some noise about it. So be sure to click the I Choose Jesus link below to let us know that you made that decision. We cannot wait to celebrate with you.
Hey, was it your first time checking out TC Kids? That means you are our VIP. VIP stands for a very important person. That's you. Yeah, so click the link below that says I'm new to TC Kids. We can't wait to meet you. Wow, TC Kids, we've been on some pretty incredible missions this month. We have been able to learn a lot and have a whole lot of fun. Make sure you come back and join us next week where we have a all new segment. It's gonna be so much fun. TC Kids is cooking up something pretty incredible for you. But until then, always remember, God loves you, we love you. Now go out and live a transformed life.